Good morning. Happy Vlogmas Day 9. I just got done with my Brazilian wax and I'm headed back home now. Walking back home. It is such a nice day. I have not started my clothing declutter, but I was talking to um, the woman who does my, my wax and she was just asking me, well, what are your plans for this evening? And Tyler and I had been texting about potentially going over to the mall and doing some shopping and me talking about how I really want some new jeans. And she mentioned Madewell and I love Madewell jeans. And she mentioned that you can take old Madewell jeans and get a $20 voucher. And I know that I have a pair of Madewell jeans that I've been meaning to declutter. Sadly, I love them, but they've got this huge rip in the knee that is not like a cute rip. It's like a not cute rip. <laughs> so I could go and turn them in and potentially get $20 off a new pair of jeans. So now I'm extra excited to go home. I do need to eat though, I'm starving but to go home and start decluttering. So anyway, just wanted to start the vlog while I'm in motion doing something. Um, and it's also good practice to like stop giving a f about what people think about me in public talking to my phone. <laughs> anyway, I, I will see you at home while I'm making something. No, I won't show you what I'm making. I need to save I have a lot to film today, so I don't need to film what I'm eating. Here we go. I have pulled out pretty much all the clothing from my closet. There are two formal dresses that I did not pull out and my um i have this fuzzy purple jacket that i wore to the taylor swift concert i didn't pull that out because i feel like that's more of like a costume piece so for what i'm wearing today these are a pair of levi's jeans that i've had for quite a while actually i think i mean maybe even a decade or more yeah i've had these for a while and i've been wearing them a lot recently to work they are comfortable I feel like they fit me pretty well um, they get a little bit baggy as they stretch throughout the week but I actually have two pairs of these jeans one of them has a paint stain on it like barely can barely barely see it so I know that they both fit the same so I'm not gonna wear the other one and show you but I don't love these jeans, but I'm liking them a lot. I'm definitely not getting rid of these. I just know I need more jeans and it, it, just because this patch thing, I don't love this patch on the knee. I just feel like it's really noticeable when I wear them multiple days a week. So, okay. And then this sweater is from a website called Threads for Thought, I think is what it is. Um, I've had it since I lived in Maryland, so like six plus years. I, again, like, I like it because I feel like it covers my body. I have, if you know me at all, you know that I have issues with my self-image. I tend to want to hide the shape of my body, so clothes that do that, I typically like. But then I look at pictures and I'm like, I look so frumpy. Why do I, why do I look so frumpy? So anyway, again, I don't love this sweater, but I am keeping it because I like it just fine. I'm not gonna do shoes, I don't think, but these Adidas are new from this year. Um, I think Tyler got them for me for my birthday and I needed a pair of just like nice sneakers that weren't running shoes or workout shoes that I can wear with pretty much anything um, and wear to work and be comfortable. So here is a tank top. Now this is an article of clothing I've had for a really, really long time. Uh, first time I ever went to Disneyland. So I think I was just out of high school <laughs> and I've had this. Um, okay, how is it fitting? I mean, it technically fits but it also kind of feels a little tight around the bust and it's see-through, but I don't know. It's like this old Mickey Minnie shirt. 
I feel like I don't hate it and I probably only ever wear it if I go to Disneyland but how often do I go to Disneyland not very often I don't know this one's gonna be this one's gonna be a maybe I'm gonna be doing a lot of cutting of me changing okay so I think this one is one that I am going to get rid of for a couple of reasons it's actually fairly new to me it's one of the very many tank tops you're going to see from Duluth trading company that Tyler has been purchasing from usually if he needs to get free shipping or something he'll add like a tank top for me uh, to his cart and I mean it's nice um, but I don't love the color it is too close to my skin tone and I just feel like it washes me out and I'm just I also I prefer a racer back tank which you'll see soon so we have our first declutter all right uh, oh what is that oh that's fine okay all right so basic white tank top I actually forgot that I had this I'm keeping this because I guess it's probably good to have just your basic white tank top to wear under stuff so it still fits so all right racer back tank it fits I like it my, my friend Rachel got this for me a while back it says I'm billing you for this conversation um, I feel like I don't really wear this very much though it's not something I can really wear to work but I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it for now all right we are getting into the very rare t-shirts that I have I don't like t-shirts I don't like the way they cut uh, me at my arm I just I have big arms like they're muscular big buff arms and then the high neck I don't know but it's hocus pocus related and I love hocus pocus but I actually did not wear this at all this year for uh, for Halloween or anything like that and my friend Andrea got it for me, but we have to be okay with getting rid of gifts. It's okay. I don't wear it because it's a t-shirt. I don't, it's so just like tight around the shoulders. I feel constricted. Okay, it's a nice shirt, but I, I have to get rid of it. Okay, you might laugh at me at what I'm about to say. This is the exact same tank top as the white one that I tried on, the spaghetti strap. This is actually my going out top. This is how rarely I actually go out if I'm going out to a bar or a club or a, a club. I mean, it's happened, but it's rare. But I wear this because it shows skin and it's black and it's relatively form fitting. And I don't know, it's, this is like the sexiest I can go. So I've actually worn this fairly recently, so I'm keeping it. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is a racer buck tank top. I'm pretty sure I've had since high school. I can't remember the last time I've worn this. I, I think I got this from Ross in high school. I don't ever wear it. It's not like it's, I don't ever wear it. Like it's kind of, I guess like it kind of looks good, but I don't ever wear it ever, ever, ever. No, no, I got to get rid of it. I can't keep holding on to this. One of my, another one of my many black racerback tank tops. I was really in a, <laughs> I was really in a phase apparently. Um, this one actually is far more comfortable. I feel like it fits my bust and my rib cage a lot more. And I got it um, when I was playing Juliet and Romeo and Juliet it's got a quote from one of her monologues with like stars on it she's cute I hardly ever wear her but because she fits better and is just more comfortable I don't know maybe I need to remember to pull this out more in the summer <laughs> um I bought this one. Oh, so this one and the the Romeo and Juliet one are both from Redbubble so same probably literally the same cut of black racerback tank top um but this one just says pussies against trump you can't grab this this i probably got in like 2016 or something like that um i love this i can literally like there are very few places i can wear this and i haven't worn it in so long because of that but i love this brings me so much joy <laughs> got, i've got to keep it and it fits really well i gotta find other places i can wear this Okay, another t-shirt. 
Tyler got this for me before we ever started dating when he directed me in Romeo and Juliet. And okay, to be fair, it is a lot more comfortable and looser around the sleeve than the Amuck 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 t-shirt. And it's not as like, okay, so I'm getting rid of this tank because it's, it matches my skin tone too much. This actually is a little bit differentiated. I can't get rid of this. It's probably a sentimental thing. I, okay, all right, all right, I'm keeping it. I also wonder too, so I, um, if some of the things that I'm trying on, like the t-shirts and things, maybe I can find ways just like in my day-to-day, -day, not when I'm working, when I'm going out to wear them and, and style them, because that's the other thing I struggle with. Okay, so here's something I am definitely getting rid of. I bought this from Goodwill when I was shopping before, um, like when I was early on in my practicum, so just like nice-ish clothes that I can wear to work, knowing that I like to hide my body. So this is a Chico's shirt. It's actually nice, but it's it's never actually fit me and that was the reason I got it but I don't wear it now to work because it's not like this is nothing like I don't even know what to do with this it's almost like more of a sleep shirt if anything maybe I can no I'm not gonna wear it as a sleep shirt well maybe I will wear it as a sleep shirt actually I'm gonna keep it because I am I know I'm gonna get rid of sleep shirts maybe I can add this to my sleep shirt category that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, here's another Duluth tank top. So pretty recent. Um, I think I've worked out in this actually, but it's not a workout top technically, but it's because it's gray, even though it's not racer back, um, I feel like I can, I don't know, I can wear this. It differentiates from my skin tone a little bit more than the, the pink, the pink one. So I'm keeping this. I have a lot of tank tops, oh my gosh. All right, here's one I know I'm keeping because I actually wear this to work on a pretty regular basis. This is also from Duluth. It is a racerback. I wear it with a racerback bra that I got from Skims. I really like it. I often wear it with a cardigan. I was going to throw a cardigan over it to, to give you an idea, but it's underneath this big pile. So I know I'm keeping this. It fits really well, and I it's actually semi-form fitting. So, yeah, I like it. All right, another uh, tank top from Duluth. I have a gajillion of these exact same cut, um, just different ages, basically. This might have been one of the first ones because you can see it's kind of stretched out around the armpit area. Um, I'm keeping all of them just because I wear them so frequently, even to work. I actually don't know if I wear this one to work very much anymore, but it's really great for just lounging around, the ones that are kind of stretched out. Um, I'll just hold up the other ones as I find them, but I'm, I am going to keep all of them just because they're still relatively new. I love that they have the shelf. The only thing is I kind of wish they were shorter, like here. That's the only thing that I wish I could change. Okay, keeping this. This is from Target from like many years ago. Um, not as old as some of my things, but of course, I mean, I'm only, I only wear it one around one time a year maybe a couple times during the season i haven't worn it yet this vlogmas so maybe instead of the black threads for thought sweater i'll wear this for the rest of the day um because i can only wear it a little bit but i mean it still fits it's comfortable i kind of like that it cinches slightly at the hip and it's not too long and i i don't know i like it. i'm keeping this it's not too thick like it's comfortable keeping it. All right, here's one of the other very few Disney related things that I have. Um, this type of sweater, sweatshirt, whatever, was really popular and it actually still is. I, they made, I got this when it was kind of new, like a newer style and now they have like a ton of these. They say Disneyland on the back and like this thick glittery material. Um, I Sometimes we have like Disney day at work so I'll typically wear this. I have the same issue that it kind of matches my skin tone a little bit too much in terms of like color theory. This is not my color. I, I don't like pink anymore. What can I say? I'm not a pink wearing person anymore. Um, 
but it fits it was expensive and I don't hate it okay this is another sweater that I got from Goodwill uh, at the same time I got that Chico's thing that I'm just gonna turn into a sleep shirt I still wear this to work pretty regularly I like the color it's very autumnal I like the turtleneck yeah it's boxy but there's something about maybe it's the length it doesn't bother me I don't feel as frumpy wearing this maybe because it has the textured I don't know if you can really see but the textured lines here is one of the few Taylor Swift related clothing items that I own I got this from Etsy it has all of her albums as books on it and I knew okay so this color was is probably still very trendy I had a feeling that it would not be a good color on me because it just is not part it's not my color it's not my color but from the pictures all the other colors that they offered it didn't seem to look as good with the image so I do I wear it sometimes I even wear it to work I have some clients who are also Swifties so even if it's not my color I still wear this it's still new and um, I like it it's cozy I lied I said I wasn't going to try on any more of the Duluth tank tops all in the same style but I just wanted to show you this one you can see that this one is not stretched out here around the armpit so it is well maybe a little bit here it's newer than the green one um, this is one of my colors like I love this color blue on me um, I think I got it before I went to Greece because Greece like is very much associated with the color blue you think their flag you think the roofs um, on Santorini like okay but I really really like this color I consistently wear this to work pretty frequently but I also wanted to try this on so I can just kind of hold up some of the other tank tops from Duluth that are the exact same so I do have this gray one just basic gray this is not the exact same style as what I'm wearing right now, but it is the exact same one as the black racer back that I said earlier that I wear a lot. And I do actually wear this white one a lot to work as well. And then, yes, I have another green one. Same green one um, that I, I showed you earlier. The first one of these I tried on, same style as what I'm wearing right now. So keeping it, again, not as much for work with the green ones because they're the oldest ones but for lounging they're just comfortable when i'm hanging out in my apartment okay please god let this be the last non-workout tank top i own um it says taylor's version i got this at the same time i got the book one that i literally just showed you not that long ago you don't have the memory of a goldfish um so i got it at the same time and i really like it i like green a lot it's not the ideal green for my skin tone but green is my favorite color in many many different shades okay so hopefully we're done with the tank tops because god damn that was a lot of tank tops I have a love-hate relationship with this sweater. I got it from Goodwill. The brand is Forever 21, so you know that it's gonna be like just cheap and not great quality. It is so itchy. I, I love the style so much. I love the colors. I get a ton of compliments whenever I go to work wearing this. It's so autumnal, like, ugh. I, I really like it but I, what was it? it was the last time I wore it to work so I haven't worn it in probably about a month at this point last time I wore it to work I just I couldn't handle the itchiness around my neck I I love the length of it too like it's not too long it's not too boxy like ugh. I just wish it were comfortable I am going this sounds so bad but I'll, I'll explain why I'm giving this to Margaret Tyler's daughter knowing that she might end up getting rid of it too because it's itchy but I guess so Tyler does my laundry as you might know I know I'm really spoiled but he um, was doing my laundry she saw this and was like oh my gosh I want that or like I love that I want that and I was like oh my god maybe I'll just give it to her as part of her Christmas present knowing that if she wears it and realizes how itchy it is that she gets rid of it too and that's totally fine so i am getting rid of this but i'm gonna give it to margaret i just wish i didn't have to get rid of it oh, i wish it were more comfortable because i really loved so much about it but you know what this tells me 
what I can look for as I'm going shopping and trying to add things to my wardrobe. A cropped sweater with like these colors in this design. Just not this fabric. Oh, that's why. 100% acrylic. Okay, so now we're actually getting a little bit more into things that I hang up, blouses and things like that. I don't have a ton of these. Most of what I own, I keep in my drawers. This is a top I got from Thread Up by Express. It's uh, The brand is Express and it's buttoned up, but I don't feel like buttoning up right now because my nails make it really difficult and it would take a really long time. So I like this and I don't. I'm keeping it, but I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep it. I love having leopard print when I was younger, like end of elementary school, early middle school, I wore leopard and cheetah print stuff all the time. It was like my thing, okay? So this really brings me back to my childhood. I think the color of leopard print, or at least like natural looking leopard print color suits me really, really well. I think it suits my coloring. It's pretty autumnal. What I don't like about this is, I think it is slightly too big in certain places. I wish it were a little bit more fitted to my body, just a little bit, a little bit. So that's the challenge. Um, Cause yeah, when I tuck it in, it just like, it's too billowy. It's difficult to, to tuck in. So I'm keeping it, but I just wish it were a little bit better and I don't know how to make it a little bit better right now, but yeah. All right, next we have another leopard print thing. Um, I wasn't sure. I haven't worn this for a while for some reason, and I'm trying to figure out why, what it was. I thought I was gonna get rid of this before I put it on. What is it about it that I'm hesitating on? It's not as rich of a leopard print color as this one. I don't know, maybe I need to just switch out the jeans. Okay, so dark wash jeans. This is a pair of Forever 21 skinny jeans that I believe I got from ThreadUp a while back, potentially around the same time I got this, because this is also Express from ThreadUp. And let's see, what if I tuck it in? I don't, I don't like it. Also, these jeans do not tuck things in well, because they're a little bit, I'm keeping these jeans, but I've been wearing them a little bit more. They're not perfect by any stretch. <laughs> uh, they're actually a little bit tight around the thighs for me, but I'm getting a little bit more used to that sensation just because I've been wearing them more frequently, but they are a little loose in the front. But I don't know, I'm making do because I don't have other jeans that I can wear to kind of go out in and feel like I'm a little bit fancier. I thought maybe if I wore this shirt with the jeans, I think I know what the problem is. It's like, it just, it's like I'm a bell. I don't know, it like flares out in a weird way. I don't know, okay. I think this, I think I, it's time to get rid of this. All right, here we go. I This is a crop top kind of tank thing. I wore in Greece a lot. I was going to wear it at one point recently and I felt so insecure about my tummy showing that I ended up changing. <sighs> is this one of those tops that like you buy for a specific thing and then once that thing is over, it's it's done? Okay, this is what I wore them with. These white, cargo pants and I think maybe that's what it was is I kind of hiked them up a little bit they're a little big but I like that about them um did I say they're Ralph Lauren I think they're Ralph Lauren it says Lauren and then Ralph Lauren so it might be like I don't know their department store version or something but I got these from thread up before I went to Greece so maybe that's what it was. Like this outfit, I don't feel as insecure about my tummy showing because I'm able to kind of bring this up a little bit higher. And it was very cute for Greece. And I felt, also I didn't wear it with this normal bra. I wore it with my Skims racer back. 
so which I think kind of flattened out my boobs a little bit more and I think I liked that better so I know I can make this top work and it is cute and I really do like this color on me we're gonna keep it for now we're gonna keep it for now all right I'm only gonna button one of these wow I look like I'm in a period commercial um, I'm keeping these cargo pants too actually um, they're linen and they're super wrinkly I should probably iron them I don't own an iron but um, I am keeping these cargo pants <laughs> just so you know because they were so cooling when I was in Greece it was so hot in Greece and it does get pretty hot in San Diego as well so I don't think I can ever wear them to work because they are a little bit see-through but that didn't matter in Greece <laughs> um, but anyway I'm just still wearing them to show you this top although I would never wear them together they're actually very different shades of white the cargo pants are like a little bit yellow maybe it's because you can see my skin through them who knows anyway okay so I'm showing you this uh, button up this is from Amazon it fits which is great um, mainly my struggle with these types of shirts is that they if they fit in the shoulders like this does they're too big in the waist okay so that's the problem with this it's not quite fitted to my middle but I have broad shoulders um, that's just how I'm built and there's nothing wrong with that Heather <laughs> uh, but anyway I am keeping this although I would really like at some point in the new year to invest in a more tailored shirt like this even if I have to literally get it tailored to fit me better so but I want to show you something that I like to do I was very into the whole like academia aesthetic and honestly I think that is part of my personal style because I think it looks so cute on me I don't know why like I need to figure out my style like what it's called or or understand like why this looks so cute on my body type hello are you kidding me this is adorable like I love this and whenever I wear this to work I need to wear this to work soon I haven't worn it in so long but I get compliments it's so cute this sweater vest is also from Amazon but I, the quality of it is actually pretty good I've worn it quite a bit um, nothing is fraying it's really soft and it makes me want to get more sweater vests I think I'm a sweater vest person I think it looks good on my frame I don't know why someone explain it to me but I really like it okay I might as well show you these pants I got these from Amazon when I got uh, at the same time I got the sweater vest and this top because it was right when I got my job in February and I knew I needed some clothes to wear to work so these are little like page boy slacks from Amazon the quality is awful oh my gosh I feel like I'm I'm wearing like a glorified plastic bag kind of material it's like workout pants ish but awful like not nice they don't feel soft and nice I mean they fit like it works I think from looking at them you can't tell they're this really awful fabric um, they're the right length and everything I don't know I can't get rid of them yet because I need to actually invest in some nicer slacks so I should be making a list of things right now that's what I need to do and my mem hold on hold on all right who remembers this from that stitch fix video so this is really new we're getting into some of my stitch fix finds um, love this dress still it is like so cute she's spinny she's she's cute why is she she I don't know but I do love this color I think it looks good on me it's a little tiny bit low cut for work I've made it I've made it work um, honestly with denim jacket that I got from thread up I got this before going to Greece as well although I hardly wore it in Greece because it was just so hot it was so hot um, but look how cute with the denim jacket I still really really dig this a lot why did it take me so long to get a denim jacket I don't know all right I got this dress from a thrift store thrift 
is it thrift? I guess it's thrifting. I don't know. It's more of like a fancier thrift store here in San Diego. The brand, it's actually an anthropology brand. And I think it retailed for like $160 or something. And I got it for a lot less than that. I can't quite remember, maybe $30, $40. It is so soft. And yes, it's, you know, okay. So here's why I like it, right? You can probably tell it's big, okay? I, I feel like if I'm bloated or if I'm not feeling good about myself, I can throw this on. I actually kind of like that there's this seam that goes up and down. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's different, it's unique. Who knows if it's flattering on me? I'm, I don't know. I do like that it, it is tighter in the arms, but not too tight. So you see a little bit of my shape, I guess, in the arms. And it has pockets. And the color looks really good. I think against my skin tone, it's really pretty. It's very autumnal. I wore it recently to a wedding. Um, I do, I would like some more nice kind of cocktail-y dresses or semi-formal dresses, but I'm definitely keeping this because she's really pretty and she's really soft. She is dry clean only. I should probably get her dry clean because it's been a while, but yeah, it's fine. Time for more Stitch Fix <laughs> items. Uh, this is the first of many jumpsuits that I have acquired from Stitch Fix. Um, it ties over here. I'm not gonna go through that. This one's a little bit different though, and I, I kind of like it for this reason. The straps are thicker, so I don't necessarily feel like I have to wear it with a blazer or something like that. There's just a little bit more coverage or, well, a lot more coverage in the back and then more coverage in the front. I just, yeah, it covers a little bit more of my bust and I like that. Here's my issue with the jumpsuits and my jumpsuit craze. I don't know if it's because of the, the fabric collecting right here in my lower belly area or if it, I'm crazy. I'm probably, this is probably in my head I just feel like I don't feel my best in any of these jumpsuits anymore. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I'm keeping them because they are a really easy thing to throw on and wear to work, especially this one. I like that it's a little bit more cropped. I don't know if you can see. I think you can see that actually. It's a little bit more cropped. I like that it's blue as we have gone over blue is I think this like deep blue is one of the colors that looks really good on me. So I don't know. It's just where it's partially it hitting at the waistline and then this bunch of fabric here that makes me feel like I've got this like donut right here. This is my brain being messed up. Are you ready for a dress that I'm pretty sure I've had since high school? <laughs> I can, I, yeah, okay. All right, I'm not keeping it for several reasons. First of all, <laughs> okay, it is very much of its time, right? Like this little thing, holding it together, like the wrap dress thing. This is very like early 2000s. Yes, it's a black dress. You can't go wrong with a black dress. And honestly, if I'm honest, I actually wore this to a fancy event in the last couple of years. And I made it work. I made it work somehow. I, I, don't, I don't know how, but here's, yeah, okay. So I'm getting rid of it because it, 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 it <laughs> It's not my style. It just doesn't quite fit right. There's, it's partially my shoulders. Um, it's really, really tight in the shoulders. The armpit does not quite, like if I bring it up to where it would actually fit, sit a little bit more in my armpit, you get this like weird bunching right here and then it's a little bit too short in the arm. If I do that, it's just really like, how do I describe this? It is far away from my armpit. Anyway, it's awkward and weird and, <laughs> I tried to wear it recently and it, I don't know how I made it work. Like my, maybe my body's just different. My body's probably different than when I made it work, but I don't like the style. I don't like the fit and I've had it since high school. It's probably from Ross. 
Also, why did a high school girl wear something that is clearly for like, this is a woman's dress. This is not a high school girl's dress, but I wore this in high school. <sighs> you sweet summer child. A very similar type of dress to the one that I just showed you. It is a wrap style dress. I actually got this from Thread Up maybe last year or the year before. It fits better. Okay, like it actually, it's still a little bit got this weird thing happening in the armpit where it just doesn't go all the way up like I want it to. And so it's also too short in the arm, which is enough. It like doesn't look like it's meant to be too short in the arm. So I wonder if it's, again, it's my shoulders being really wide. Uh, also, you can't really tell, you might not be able to tell. I didn't notice it the first time I wore this. I actually wore this to a wake the first time I ever wore it. Um, but it's got this, it's worn right here on the fabric. I, you can't, I don't think you can even see it. But I noticed that probably when I was going to a more, like a fancier event. And I'm like, wait, what the heck is happening there? Like, it looks like there's something on the sleeve, but it's just the fabric is worn. It's distressed. Okay, I'm about to show you the issue I'm having with the jumpsuits. Heather, why did you buy all of these jumpsuits? I don't know what, <sighs> okay. I know I'm crazy. I know I've got, okay, let's ignore this problem. Let's ignore this because I'm sure when I watch this back, I'm gonna be like, shut the fuck up, Heather, shut up. Here's a, an actual valid issue. Okay, so this, part of the wrap over like this part of the fabric is too loose. I have tightened this strap to as much as I can comfortably and inevitably my bra will pop out throughout the day when I'm at work. It is so annoying that I tend to, yes, I have this whole like mental issue with my, my lower part here just whatever if that were the only issue that's my that's in my head that's my head problem this is a real problem okay i can't be sitting at work and be working with a client and have my boob pop out i spent a lot of money on these heather why did you do this this was the this is where it started it started with this one so this one is cropped the one that i'm wearing okay this one's not cropped that's the only difference well and the color and the print but the same brand so I have the same issue that I have in my head with like the lower belly kind of thing. This one, it might not be as bothersome to me because it's black. I wore this to my graduation. I'm not gonna get rid of these today. Today is not the day, but I just wanted to show you all of them. The money is spent, the money is spent, but I don't know, maybe, maybe I, I still feel convinced I can make it work somehow, but here's one the one I'm wearing. Um, I might as well show you a couple of these blazers that I got from Stitch Fix um, that I, I do like. Actually, okay. Can you see? Can you see? Yes, you can. You can see that. This is like an almost $100 blazer. It's very soft and supple and it's cute though because of my insecurity about my lower belly in these jumpsuits i do wish it buttoned i really wish that they buttoned i would like them so much more also i don't know what i was thinking getting this color it really washes me out you know what i might do with these i might hang them up backwards and if i don't wear them in the next six months i'm getting rid of them I've got this one, beautiful green color. It's that longer length. Here's the other blazer that I got, in the same style, okay? Same style. I haven't worn it as much though because of the color. <laughs> because a lot of my jumpsuits, actually a couple of them are green or it's blue. It doesn't quite go with the black one. I haven't been, I think I've worn this once to work and that's it. I need to find a way to wear this. Maybe with a nice new pair of jeans 
And then here is another blazer that I got from Stitch Fix. This one is a different style. It also doesn't have a button, um, but you know, that's okay. It's got this kind of more like cottony, almost like sweatshirt kind of fabric here in the fold over. I haven't worn this recently. It, again, maybe like a pair of jeans and something else underneath. I don't have the right things. I need something. I'm missing something in my wardrobe and I don't know what it is. People, I don't know what it is. All right. Do you remember that sweater vest and the white button up and the weird page boy slacks? This, oops. This blazer is also from Amazon and I got it at the same time as those things that I just mentioned. It's oversized, again, with me and my oversized, I like oversized things, but it also has a button. You probably can't see that, I don't know. It does, the button does something weird. It doesn't lay quite flat and quite nicely, but I actually still prefer this blazer to the ones from Stitch Fix. I don't know, maybe it's the, it's the pointy lapels that the other ones don't have. They've got more of a smooth, single lapel but I don't know just like it better uh maxi dress my former boss from a job I held in Maryland she gave this to me she was just decluttering stuff I suppose and she gave it to me and I actually still like it I wear it to work sometimes with my denim jacket on yes we still have this elastic here like the jumpsuits in the same spot. The elastic is in the same spot, but I don't feel as self-conscious of down here as I do in the jumpsuits, probably because the fabric doesn't bunch up so much here. Perfect length, really great for summer and spring and fall because I live in San Diego. Okay, I think I got this dress the same time I got that purple one from Anthropology because it's very similar in style, but also very different at the same time. So this is more of a crew neck, like a wider crew neck than a V. Different color, different fabric. This one was a lot cheaper. This feels more like a t-shirt dress. It's also shorter than the purple one. It goes up higher and it's probably the reason why I think I've tried to wear it to work and I might have worn it to work maybe once, maybe twice, but I felt a little bit like, ooh, it feels a little short for work. Yes, I can wear it with tights and that solves that problem, but at the same time, it has this weird, look how low in the armpit this is. I don't like that. I don't. I don't like that. I need to get rid of this. I don't love it. It's just very meh. All right, another striped dress that a former employer gave to me. <laughs> so this is a uh, blue and white. I actually brought this with me to Greece as well. I brought the other striped dress with me. What's different about this compared to a lot of the things that I own and have kept throughout the times is it, it's cap sleeve. I don't usually go for cap sleeve, but it's probably because it sits a little bit higher than your traditional short sleeve would that I don't mind it. I feel like it doesn't cut my arm in a weird way. Um, and it's actually more form fitting than what I would normally wear, but there's something about how the stripes alternate in the middle that I feel like is really it gives this very slimming effect, which I know we shouldn't care about, but I still do because I live in this society, okay? Let's be real. Um, but I like it, it's, it's cute. It's really cute, it's good for the summertime. It's good for a date night if I'm actually feeling like dressing up nice for a date night. So yeah, we're gonna keep it, we're keeping her. Hey, <laughs> remember that uh, blazer and the white button up and the sweater vest and the page boy slacks that I showed you earlier that I got from Amazon? Well, here are a couple more things I got from that Amazon purchase. This is actually a bodysuit. Um, it fits pretty well. It's not like the most amazing quality, but 
I like that it's this little kind of mock turtleneck kind of look. It's a little bit baggy in the butt, but that's okay. It's comfortable, no one sees it. Um, so yeah, I got this green skirt. Again, this was very like my dark academia kind of thing. I, oh, I thought I had pockets for a second. It does not have pockets, but I love the color. I get a lot of compliments on this skirt and I liked it so much that I actually got it hemmed. I rarely take things to get tailored, but I got this hemmed and you know what? I still like it. I still like it. I need to wear it a little bit more often. It's cute. So keeping the skirt, I'm going to keep these, this uh, bodysuit on for a little bit longer. All right. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think this skirt is from thread up. I think I got it in like 2017 from thread up. What I like about it is it's got these, do you see? different colored feathers on them. My name is Heather, Heather Feather. Like I think, I don't know. There's something about there being feathers and they're very autumnal colored feathers. We've got red and orange and like, and I think that's black. Yeah, red, orange, and black. I did buy a slip to go with this because I don't know if you can tell, it's quite see-through. I like it, I actually do like it with this bodysuit. I don't think I've styled it like this before, but yeah, with, if I put my slip on, I don't know, maybe I can wear this to work. I could totally wear this to work, especially in the summertime. It's so like light and airy. Okay. I haven't been reaching for this very much and I don't quite know why. It's also very, it's pretty wrinkly. So maybe it just needs a good steam or something, but okay. We're keeping this. All right, we're trying on the rest of our jeans and shorts. This is a pair of Madewell jeans that Tyler actually discovered at Goodwill. And it was my size or is my size. It's the curve jeans that I need just because of my proportions. It's high-waisted and they're petite. So they were actually exactly what I was looking for at the time. It's the same trip from Goodwill that I got this sweater that I love and also hate and giving to Margaret. Um, and it looks, that sweater looks really good with this because with these jeans, because they're high waisted. But lately I am not liking these jeans as much. Okay. They're very comfortable in the leg, but I'm not liking like sitting down. And if I'm sitting for a while, which I sit a lot at work, I get up and stand a lot too, but I'm mainly sitting as a therapist and they start to like dig into my stomach and are uncomfortable. And I'm going to keep them because they're made well jeans and I, I need another pair of jeans <laughs> to alternate between the Levi's with the patch that I'm wearing like all the freaking time. So I'm keeping them, but I, I think I needed to own a pair of high-waisted jeans to realize that I don't want high-waisted jeans. So, lesson learned. These are the Madewell jeans that I was telling my lady who does my wax about. I got these jeans the same time I got that purple anthropology dress from the same place, okay? I, <laughs> this is what I'm talking, like, I love it, they're mid-rise. Okay, I like that they're baggy, but I don't think actually they were meant to be baggy. I think these are boyfriend jeans maybe. But anyway, they've got this rip in the knee and I think these are the ones that I need to take to Madewell and see if they will give me a $20 voucher for. Because I can't wear them to work because of this rip. I don't wear them in my day-to-day -day life because they also just, <laughs> they're not, they don't look nice anymore because of the rip and maybe it's also they just don't fit me as well anymore I don't know but as soon as I pulled them on I was like oh this is what I miss this is what I wanted in a pair of Madewell jeans this is that same pair of Levi's that just has the little paint stain on it I was oil painting many many years ago and I got a little tiny bit on these jeans and it's fine and I'm gonna keep them just cause I know I really like them and I wear them a lot. 
or I wear the other pair a lot. So just in case for some reason the other pair is, I can't wear it, I can wear these. All right, we're getting into my denim shorts. I am someone who tends to be really insecure about my legs, my thighs. I don't wear shorts a lot. Okay, I have an issue with these. I think these are from Forever 21. Okay, they have the gapping in the back that really, really bothers me. I don't, th I didn't wear them at all this summer. I hate them, I hate them. Okay, we're getting rid of these. All right, here's a pair of Abercrombie and Fitch. Very short shorts, my goodness. These are, these are short. These are quite short. Okay, but what I can do is I kind of pull them down and they do kind of catch right here on my hip so that they don't have that gapping in the back. So they're a little bit more low rise than the other ones. I am not like a distressed jean person. These do not, they're not me. They're not me. And I don't think I wore them at all this past summer. I don't even think I brought them to Greece. You guys might remember these jeans. <laughs> I basically lived in these for many years. I got these around the time I started nannying back in 2016, 2017, when I, after moving back to, or moving to San Diego. These are from Target. Um, what are they? The Mossimo. Mossimo denim, okay? They're, they're, these used to be skinny jeans, okay? So uh, these, the, what is it called? What are you, the next generation, Gen Z? These are the jeans that Gen Z makes fun of millennials for. <laughs> the skinny colored jeans, they're very 2010s, which I guess I suppose I got them in late 2010s, but I wore these almost every single day of my entire life for that entire time. Like I just, I wore the crap out of them. I wore a hole in the knee, which is similar to the other Madewell jeans. The reason why I stopped wearing them because I could not wear these to work in. So when I nannied, that was fine, but they didn't have a hole in them when I nannied. The hole came when I was working at the natural health center. And even then, because I could hide the hole under a desk, I wore them. But Heather, I think it's time. I might cry, actually. I'm really, I might cry. <laughs> I have to, I cannot wear these anymore. I can't wear them to work. Bye. All right, here's a pair of kind of nicer black shorts that I got at a, maybe Goodwill or, actually I think it might have been the place where I got the um, uh, flashbacks, the other thrift store that I keep mentioning. I got this when Tyler and I went to a gala, which was circus themed. So I got these and then I also got like a ringmaster kind of coat, but I kept these shorts, well I also kept the ringmaster coat because I thought I could actually wear these to something and I still think that, okay, they still fit. They actually, for some reason, just the way they cut against my legs doesn't bother me. It doesn't make me feel as self-conscious as the other shorts that I tried on. So I am, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep these. These were another pair of pants that I brought with me to Greece and I wore a lot in Greece. Imagine that cropped blue sweater tank thing in these because I wore that combination as well and that worked out really well. This, these are also linen. They feel a little tight around the thighs, but that's okay. It, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if I end up wearing these during the summer of 2024. This might be another one of those situations where I bought some clothes specifically for a vacation and I wore the heck out of them during that vacation and I may never wear them <laughs> again, but I'm gonna keep them for now. Just, we'll see. This is something from Stitch Fix that I got. I don't think, it, it was when I stopped filming the Stitch Fix videos. I still really like it. I think it's a cute sweater. I like that it has this these suede elbow patches on them. I think they're cute. Yeah, I just threw on the original 
Levi's jeans I was wearing at the start of this video. This is a cardigan, not a cardigan, I don't even know what this is, a poncho maybe? One of Tyler's coworkers was trying to get rid of it and she gave it to him and he gave it to me and I kept wearing it thinking like, this is very much a therapist kind of thing to wear, but not, it's like wearing a blanket. But even because, even though my office gets really cold sometimes, I still have not pulled this out. It's probably because the, the fabric is not that like soft. It looks like it would be soft, but it's like a, it's like a scratchy soft. <laughs> I don't want to describe it. It's plasticky. It's like a plasticky soft. What is this even made of? Where's the tag? Maybe that's the problem. Ah, 100% polyester. That is probably why. So getting rid of that. I also got this cardigan from Flashbacks. I wore this almost every single day when I was a practicum student and I still will pull this out as a therapist. This is like such a therapist cardigan, okay? Don't tell me this is not a therapist cardigan because this is a therapist cardigan. I still really love it. It's cozy. It's fantastic. I have never washed it. I should probably wash it. What is this made of? Well, okay. So this is 51% nylon, 25% wool, 24% acrylic. Oh, and it's hand wash cold. It just smells like years of perfume. <laughs> I got this from Buffalo Exchange. Um, also here in my neighborhood and I like that it's a color that I actually don't you haven't seen this color yet uh, I don't have any other yellow in my wardrobe I used to think that I couldn't wear yellow but I think I can wear certain shades of yellow like a really deep goldenrod is that a color I don't know like a, a good a, a rich yellow I can wear a rich yellow and I really like this I feel like I feel, I'm like a burst of sunshine, you know, when I'm working with my clients and I'm like, hey, it's gonna be okay. I don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do like this. I wear this to work still. Okay, I think I actually need to switch to a tank top for the rest of these cardigans. My Stitch Fix stylist started sending me a lot of cardigans, probably because I kept buying them and I wear them multiple times a week. Okay, but they're a little bit different. All right, so this one is this really pretty green color that you've seen a couple of times. I've learned, like I said earlier, I really like green. I like myself in green. It's not a rich green, it's more muted, but that's okay. It's, it's still nice, I like it's got, I think they all have pockets. But this one, the fabric is a little bit softer than the other ones I'm about to show you. And what I like about this is the arm length is the right length. And then there's this one. Also the length of the sleeves is good. I think this one maybe was a little longer, but it does have the little slit, it has the pockets. Is it the same brand? It doesn't feel as soft. But it probably, oh, oh, we're, we're falling, we're falling. Um, I like to wear this one, this is this cream colored one with the blue Duluth tank top. I think it looks really pretty with the blue. And even though this is like, it, I feel like this one doesn't wash me out. In the white, sure, yeah, I'm probably a little washed out, but I don't know, I, like, I feel like I could do more cream colored things. I don't need any more cardigan. <laughs> I'm cardiganed out, but. This one is also from Stitch Fix. The sleeves here, I think are a little bit shorter. So I don't love that, but I really like the color of this. Actually, this outfit I could wear to work. I like this color with the stark white tank top underneath. That's really, that's quite nice. And the blue jeans, this is a cool color combo. I like this. I'm so simple. I'm such a simple, basic, over here but okay this one does not have the slits in the sides and also it's itchier but not as itchy as this okay if it were this itchy I would not keep it but um, it's not too terribly itchy it's probably because it's more open and it's not around my neck this is also from flashbacks I haven't worn this to work in a while and I need to because I love it what I don't like about it are these pockets that are so stretched out. They're basically, 
useless, but I love the long duster aspect of this. It's not quite a cardigan. I would, I would just call it a duster, actually. The sleeves are long, which I think kind of makes, it gives it sort of more of a laid back kind of feel, kind of vibe. The color is, I don't even know what you would call this. It's like a, I guess it's beige. It's or grayish. That's what it is. There's it's like grayish. I haven't worn this to work in a while. Heather, what are you doing? You're sleeping on this duster. I also, okay, you've probably noticed the theme. A lot of my clothes are from Goodwill or from Flashbacks or Buffalo Exchange. So thrifting. I it seems like I go thrifting a lot, but I, I really don't. I don't shop a lot to begin with. Um but when I have acquired clothes, it's probably because I've been pretty broke at that time and I just still have them. I was buying more new clothes from Stitch Fix, but then I got bored of what they kept sending me. So I stopped with that. But yeah, that's the theme. It was like thrifting, Stitch Fix, and now I'm like, Bleh. I don't know what 2024 is gonna be. Tyler got this for me. This was like a Christmas gift, an early Christmas gift, I think from last year. This is from Buffalo Exchange. And I get a lot of compliments on this when I wear it. Oh, it's got this like fantastic hood. Oh my gosh. Oh, what else did someone say? Someone was like Scarlet Witch vibes. Someone at work said that. I don't know. But it also reminds me of Japanese cherry blossoms too. I get a little bit of that. It's got nice pockets. It's very big, so it tends to kind of fall off my shoulders. <laughs> but that's okay. I really, really, really like it a lot. Keeping... Uh, this is a Zara Trafalic collection jacket that I got from ThreadUp around the time I think I just moved, or no, actually, this was when I was living in Maryland. I've worn this a little bit. I remember Tyler <laughs> once called the, these lapels like, they, that they look like uh, labia. <laughs> Um, but they're okay. They're so soft. They're like really really soft. I don't wear it very much But when I do wear it, I'm glad I own it So and it's just kind of I don't this is probably not real suede, but a suede effect kind of fabric on the outside Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you better focus back on me because I'm wearing the Buffy coat now. I love this coat so much I call her Buffy and can, I'm sorry, the red, white, and blue over here, this is really cute. This is really, really cute. The one thing about this jacket that I don't like, I just wish it kept me a little bit warmer, but it's not real leather, okay? It's quite thin, but she's so hot. She's so hot, like I love her so much. I love her, like, kick butt in this thing. Oh, I love this. Um, did I mention from ThreadUp? I got this a while ago. Um, I think around the time I just moved to San Diego. This is also from ThreadUp. <laughs> I really, really like, hey, it's more yellow. I just realized. Okay, so um, this jacket's name is Georgie. I got this before we went to Montreal because I knew it was gonna rain. I wanted a classic yellow raincoat and I found this one for a pretty good price. It's just good. What is this brand? Maybe you're curious. It just says original weatherproof vintage since 1948. Is that, is that a brand? I don't know. All right, my friend Andrea gave me this coat. I think her name is Veronica. Um, this is real fur, but it's, this is vintage. Okay, so this was her grandmother's. This is a Balenciaga fur leather <laughs> coat. And she's fabulous. I would never buy fur. I would never purchase fur. But if someone wants to give me their fur, I will take care of it. It's already dead. Okay. You can't bring the animal back to life. Girl is 
sexy and it's real leather like the difference between this and the red oh it's supple it's like mm, mm. and this part is removable so it could just be a leather jacket i haven't done that yet i should do that one of these days <sighs> yeah it's balenciaga i love her i love her you literally just saw me in this pea coat earlier today. This is my favorite pea coat. This is my favorite jacket in the winter, my favorite winter coat. The color, gorgeous. Like, this is the green. When I say that I know I look good in green, this is the green. I think this was inspired by seeing an episode of Outlander where Brianna was wearing a green coat and she has her long red hair and I'm like, that. I need that and I found it from ThreadUp. What brand is this? This is H&M. Like, this has lasted a long time. I think this is the last thing I'm gonna show you. <sighs> okay, this was my grandmother's. My grandmother is still alive, but she's in hospice um, and she's not doing well. Um, my stepdad, was asking if I wanted this and I remember her wearing this I remember her lending this to me going out one day and I actually have worn this out in public in the last few years since he gave it to me this is silver fox fur yes it's real fur but it is a hand-me-down from my grandmother so I'm not sorry I'm not sorry and I have named her Estelle and I become a different person when I'm wearing Estelle okay it's got her initials embroidered in there and I just I love it did this just become like wide-angled lens why does this look different did I do something I'm gonna see in the editing this, for some reason, suddenly looks like it's wide angle. But I don't know, I didn't know my, my camera could do that. <laughs> what the heck? That was weird. Okay, anyway, so I just tried on almost every single article of clothing that I own. I need to like not film anything else for the rest of the day. That, that's gotta be it. This is gonna take so long to edit. I actually should probably start editing it really soon. What I did not show you, I don't know if you can see that. Yes, you can. I've got my pajamas in here and my workout clothes in here. I will be just going through some of my workout clothes and getting rid of them also, but I'm not going to try them on for you today. I already have a lot of footage of me trying clothes on and I'm tired. I'm really tired, but here's everything. It's actually not that much that I'm getting rid of, um, of what I tried on, but it's something. So hopefully it will make some more room in my closet and in my drawers because that is, that was the goal. Now I have to put everything back. That is the hard part of decluttering is putting everything back. But you know what the good news is, is now I have a little bit of a list of things that I want to start looking for. It was uh, so a new pair of jeans, sweater vests, uh, an actual tailored white button up, some nice slacks. That's pretty high up on the list and uh, like cocktail dresses because I got rid of a couple of those. So, all right, we need to tidy up and I'm not going to film that. Just wanted to show you a couple of things I've added to the donation pile. There's this hoodie that I've had since undergrad from UCSB, my alum, uh, or what is it, alma mater, I'm alum, but it is so old, it is so worn, look at these sleeves, they're, it's really bad. Um, and I'm also throwing in this workout top that last time I wore to the gym, it bugged me so much, and I'm like, I cannot wear this again, it does not fit right. And I am adding these brown boots. The, ugh, it's so bad how much the fake leather is wearing off. So they were actually hanging in my closet and I needed a hanger. So they're gone now. How does it look from the back? It looks really good. 
Yeah. Are you getting a lot of gapping? No. Well, I mean, there's a little bit, but I noticed there was more with the 26. Yeah. Okay. So. Does that feel better than the high rise? Yes. Yeah, I prefer it than rather than being like all the way up here. Oh, yeah. So. Sorry. Yeah, it feels good. Nice. How about that shirt? I do like the shirt. Um, my shoulders might be a little. Oh yeah, it's not quite falling naturally. Yeah, you see. Yeah. It's like way over here. Yeah. I would need something like right here. We're at your Mecca. It's one of my favorite Really like this one. That's cool. Natural history. Yeah, I really like that one. You look very happy in here. Tyler? <laughs> what did you just do? I put a, a zing. <laughs> what is that? Let me see. What is that? That's a mouthwash tab, but uh -huh. you're supposed to add water and Yeah, and you didn't and read you didn't read the instructions and you just popped it in your mouth. Tyler. I it was a mint. Oh my god. Oh, God. oh dear. Oh, it burns. Oh. It's not a happy flavor. Okay, this is why we read instructions. <laughs> okay, so we got Indian from our favorite takeout Indian place, Tandoori Hut. Great for takeaway. Great for takeaway. It's cheaper, but still pretty good. Yeah. Not like as amazing as our favorite, favorite him. I was going to say our favorite, favorite Himalaya <laughs> restaurant because that's yeah. what it's called. It's our favorite place. And India Palace is another one yeah, that we really close like. Close second. A close second for dine-in. Mm -hmm. Actually, I prefer dining in at India Palace to Himalaya. I yes. think it's prettier in there. It is. It's cooler in it there. Is. But uh, clearly we went to the mall. We did a little bit of Christmas we went shopping. to the mall. Today, today. <laughs> we did a little bit of Christmas shopping, and yeah, most of today I just wanted to I just wanted to keep it really simple because I filmed so much of me trying on clothes, and that was really fun. And then Tyler came home, and then we went to the mall. Tyler Lipsies is doing a lot of heavy lifting. So we've had a really nice evening. <laughs> yeah, how, has. how would you rate the evening? On a scale of one to I <laughs> Let's just say I liked unwrapping an early Christmas present. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you tomorrow. Like, subscribe. Bye.